In this video, we're going to look at how to convert between different metric units for length. Here we've got a ruler. We've got 50 centimeters and 51 centimeters, 52 centimeters, and so on. Each one of the smaller lines represents a millimeter. In one centimeter, there's 10 millimeters. That's quite an important fact you might need to know for your maths exams. Here also we have got a ruler. This ruler has got 100 centimeters, and it's a meter ruler. That means that one meter is 100 centimeters. Also, here we've got a road sign. And quite often, whenever you measure distances between cities, at very large distances, you will use kilometers. The word kilo means a thousand, so that means each kilometer is 1,000 meters. So let's have a look at that. So here we've got millimeters. So to go from millimeters to centimeters, you divide by 10. For instance, 80 uh, millimeters would be 8 centimeters, so you divide by 10. To convert between millimeters and centimeters, you divide by 100. For instance, as we know, 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. To convert between meters and kilometers, you divide by 1,000. So, for instance, 1,000 meters would be 1 kilometer. 1,000 divided by 1,000 is equal to 1. See? Now, let's have a look at how to go the other way. So, for instance, if we want to go from kilometers to meters, you times by 1,000. To go from meters to centimeters, you times by 100. And to go from centimeters to millimeters, you times by 10. Let's have a look at some typical questions. So the first question says convert 7 centimetres into millimetres. So to go from centimetres to millimetres, you're going to times by 10. So 7 centimetres times by 10 is equal to 70 millimetres. Next, convert 19 centimetres into millimetres. So again, to go from centimetres to millimetres, you times by 10. So 19 times 10 is equal to 190. So the answer would be 190 millimetres. So to convert any centimetres measurement into millimetres, you times by 10. Now we're going to look at going the other way. So to go from millimetres to centimetres, you divide by 10. So to convert 80 millimetres into centimetres, well, you do 80 divided by 10. And 80 divided by 10 is 8. So that means that 80 millimetres is equal to 8 centimetres. And finally, 14 millimetres. So again, to go from millimetres to centimetres, you divide by 10. So we're going to do 14 divided by 10. And 14 divided by 10 is 1.4. So the answer would be 1.4 centimetres. Okay. Now we're going to convert between metres and centimetres. So to go, for our first question is to convert 3 metres into centimetres. So to go from metres into centimetres, you times by 100. So 3 metres, well 3 times 100 is equal to 300 centimetres. Next, convert 2.2 metres into centimetres. So to go from metres to centimetres, you times by 100. So 2.2 times 100 would be equal to, well, move the decimal place twice, so 22, 220, so 220 centimetres. Next, convert 500 centimetres into metres. So to go from centimetres into metres, you divide by 100. So we're going to do 500 divided by 100, and 500 divided by 100 is equal to 5. So that's going to be 5 metres. And finally, convert 750 centimetres into metres. So again, to go from centimetres to metres, you divide by 100. So we're going to do 750 divided by 100. And whenever we do that, we move that a small place twice, 1, 2, so that'll be 7.5. So 750 centimetres is 7.5 metres. Next, now we're going to go between kilometres and metres. So first question, convert 4 kilometres into metres. So to go from kilometres into metres, you times by 1,000. Remember, kilo means 1,000. So we're going to do 4 times 1,000, and that's equal to 4,000 metres. So 4 kilometres is equal to 4,000 metres. Next, convert one uh, convert 12.3 kilometres into metres. Again, to go from kilometres into metres, you times by 1,000. So 12.3 times by 1,000. Remember, we're going to move the decimal place three times. So 1 would be 123. And then add two zeros on, would be 12,300. So that means that 12.3 kilometres is equal to 12,300 metres. Next, convert 8,000 metres into kilometres. So to go from metres to kilometres, you divide by 1,000. So we're going to do 8,000 divided by 1,000, and that's equal to 8 kilometres. And finally, convert 7,500 metres into kilometres. So again, you divide by 1,000. 7,500 divided by 1,000. Well, move the decimal place three times. One, two, three. That's equal to 7.5 kilometres. Okay, next. Convert three kilometres into centimetres. Now, as you note this time, we're going to have to go from kilometres, then into metres, and then into centimetres. So let's convert our three kilometres into metres first of all. So that's three kilometres 
times by, well to go from kilometers into meters you times by thousands. So times by a thousand would equal three thousand meters. Next we need to go from meters into centimeters. So to go from meters into centimeters you times by a hundred. So we're gonna do our three thousand times one hundred. Well add on your two zeros onto your three thousand. Well that would give you three hundred thousand. So the answer would be three hundred thousand centimeters. Next Convert one kilometer into millimeters. So this time we need to go from kilometers to meters to centimeters to millimeters. So first of all, let's take our one kilometer and times it by a thousand. Well, one times a thousand is equal to 1,000 meters. Next, we want to go from meters into centimeters. So we're going to times by a hundred. So we're going to do 1,000 times 100. That's equal to 100,000 centimeters. And finally, we want to go from our 100,000 into millimetres. So we're going to times by 10. Centimetres to millimetres, you times by 10. So we're going to do 100,000 times 10 is equal to 1 million. So that means that in 1 kilometre, there's 1 million millimetres. And our last question is to convert 42 millimetres into metres. So we're going to go from millimetres into centimetres by dividing by 10. And then we're going to go from centimetres into metres by dividing by 100. So first of all, let's take our 42 millimetres and divide it by 10 to go into centimetres. So that's equal to 4.2 centimetres. Next, we want to go from our centimetres into metres, so we divide by 100. So we're going to do 4.2 divided by 100. Remember, that means we're going to move the decimal place twice. So move it once, it would be 0.42. Move it again, it would be 0.042 metres. So that means that 42 millimetres is equal to 0.042 metres. 